Hi there, welcome to Number One Geek. I'm Saz, and this is RimWorld Save Our Space Station. Um, okay, a little bit of explanation I think might be in to be caused here. Um, usually, uh, to save our embarrassments, uh, I tend to uh, do a little bit of the boring stuff in between takes. Now, I try to get each episode to be about 15 minutes long, just so that, you know, just, just to keep attention, so to speak, and get the main points out. Uh, so you may see a few things change. But the biggest change is, is that halfway through me doing that, I got attacked by a ship. Now, interesting enough, we ended up actually having a firefight, which ended up me knocking out one of their ships and all their weapons, and the shields went down. But I think one of their shields exploded. Now, the problem is, is I can't get anywhere away from this thing now and I think it's a bug of some sort but the nice thing is is if that ship stays there then no other ships are going to come in so I might just exploit that bug and uh, see about building up my ships without having too much else attacking uh, is it no, I don't know. I, it's, it, I don't really want to end the game and have to restart sort of thing. So we've, we've just got ourselves established. So we may as well get ourselves going this way. Anyway, I'm this 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 particular game is going to have a lot of repairs and work done on it. So all I'm going to do is my main mission is to try get up for microelectronics to the multi analyzer. To fabrication, to advanced fabrication, and to Starflight Basics, so I can start on getting, being able to start repairing ship parts. Um, I've also got some IEDs down here, which I may sneak in to the room because there are some period of time where these guys are asleep. So uh, maybe coming in sneakily this way dropping in some IEDs in here and uh, having these guys step over them. As you may have noticed here, we've got a lot of problems because the damage from the ship, but we'll see where we go from there. Anyway, I'll, 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 I've noticed that sometimes I do ramble on with my introductions, so <laughs> I'll leave it there and I'll speak to you when something exciting happens. Okay, so you cannot grow with bad seasonal temperature. I think also we've got no soil in here, but what I'm going to try to do is, it, as you can see, I'm heating up this area now. And if we're lucky, they may be able to put some dirt in there as part of the uh, repair system. If not, not, not much to worry about. But I just want to make a hundred percent sure here that we're we're not. Not a chance, as you can see, it's, we're at minus 49 at the moment from dropping or raising, should I say? And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, I've just had a thought. These are reactor based ships, aren't they? So, if I can do that and get these guys to prioritise, I can get the ship to help power the base. And if I also, which I've realised as well, is if I put onto the ships that aren't uh, having great issues with power, I can have these other ships power these other parts. Now this one's also uh, it's not loaded apparently. Um, Probably why it hasn't been firing then. But anyway, new discovery equals a better chance of survival, methinks. Somehow, I've got to get this one going as well. Right, I've sent Christabel to start sowing the area because we need to start getting some food. I'm getting a bit worried about how much food we've got left. Uh, Jet, have I switched her off her cooking? I haven't. So I don't know why she's not. I'm on 30 mils, is that why she's not? Okay, we've 
crops to harvest. That ain't fun. But I need to get this rice plant done. The only problem is it's hurt Christabel because obviously he doesn't have thing, but this is the only choice I have. Okay, now we've got a connection through there, through to the thing. We can see that the batteries are starting to charge up on here. And we're starting to get some regular power going, which is good news. And then we're starting to build up all the bits and pieces on the ship to repair. I've also started some um, solar panels here as well. So hopefully the ship will be able to uh, do that. I'm wondering if I've run out of fuel on ships. Because... Uh, no, I don't seem to appear to have run out of fuel there. That's got no fuel in, and that's got no fuel in. But they have to be repaired. That's got no fuel in, and that's got no fuel in. But these have got fuel. But I'm wondering if I need to actually fuel these up because these are the two ships that have a bridge. And that's maybe the reason why I can't move at the moment. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. Interestingly, I found some more packaged survival meals, which I may send up if we get desperate trouble. But I'm going to leave them there for the moment. Uh, it's probably better that I leave them there and see if we can just get everyone going. But the nice thing is, look, there's a nice array going up there. I think power-wise, we're, we're, we're doing okay. We've all connected up. I just need to now start doing all the repairs on the weapons and guns and things like that. I think they're, they're, they're slowly getting it done. After realising that we're actually exposed to space here, and those are actually decomposing, I've changed my mind. I'm going to get them done now, just to make 100% sure. I'm still contemplating about whether I ought to try break into here to try nab that. And what I really want to do is get the weapons here sorted, so if any other buggers do chase me, they're going to end up fighting the ship rather than me, or my character. So... There and thereabouts. Also, putting some IEDs might be a good idea. Just to catch them out as if they start leaving. It's a plan, at least. We don't know. I'm not sure if that's going to end up being what I'm going to end up doing. But it's one of the only plans I've got. Right, so we've had a bit of space debris uh, come up. Is the quest. Using ship sensors. Yeah, it's fine. So nearby do we scan your absolute wrench in 30 days which in takes 40 percent of a shuttle's maximum fuel which was bringing enough for a return ship there may be danger there now there's my ship that's the enemy ship i'm just wondering is it worth my time but i'm thinking if i can find an eva suit on there it may actually be worth that time uh if i fail then I'm going to have to send Christabel down to the planet. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to 14%. So we've got more than 14% each time. <clears throat> so I want to stick uh, Marie, Marie and Jet in there. And some items... too heavy for the transport pods. Oh right. So I may have to take two separate transports. Ooh. It's the question is though is it worth the risk? Well, which one's the other one that's got more fuel in it?
Okay, so I need to... Some pod launchers are under a roof. Oh, bugger. Have I got to move... That there... And that there by chance. Provides docking facilities for one shuttle. So, have I got to put? One there, one there, perhaps. I'll have to look it up, I think. I think we're going to have to just accept the fact that I'm not very good at this game at the moment. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. So maybe it's a better idea for me if I don't do anything with it just yet. Oh well, it's worth it. It's worth a crack. I've sent uh, Christopher with orders to harvest the rice plants so that we know we've got at least some food left. So it makes me a little bit more comfortable about that particular position. It's a bit perturbed about what's going on with the shuttles. It says something about there being a roof. Which is... Uh, Christopher's taking a bit of a damage, but hopefully whilst he's undoing all that lot, he should be okay. I have, as I said, I have, I'm going to have to look up what's going on with the shuttles and how it all works, because it's not entirely uh, easy to work out. But there we go, that's what this game's about. I have to work it out so you guys don't have to. Oh, Christ, I'm firing. I didn't actually just attack the ship again. Alright, okay. Um, well, I'm going to aim for there. See how we do there. Because we'll be aiming for that the shields. Hopefully they'll collapse again at some point. Even now after all this time. I wonder, actually. If I click on that one. Well, we'll see what happens when we break through. And we're through the shields. Again. There's a fire going on in here. Right, I'm going to aim for their close call weapons. Because why wouldn't I? The other thing I've done as well is I'm going to add some of there so these extra long things here will also be able to fire. We also may need to see if I can power these guys as well because they look like they might need to uh, also fire as well. So let me have a look at my weapons. Set force target. Okay, we'll see how far we go with this. And truth of the matter is, folks, we're at our 15 minute mark. But as you can see, we're still firing. So we'll see where we go next episode. See how far we've gone. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.